dear students in last video we had discussed about the image formation by the concave mirror and we had discussed in that video that the it, uh, convex concave mirror is used in torches such light vacuum headlights or the as a barber or the shaving mirror it is used okay so now in this video we'll discuss about the image formation by the convex mirror so come in this part image formation by convex mirror you know convex mirror is a diverging mirror already discussed so there are two cases okay not the six as we had discussed in the concave only the two cases first when the image when the object is placed at infinity okay first case will take see the image formation suppose this is the convex mirror this is the pole this is the uh, this side focus and the center curvature always back side of the convex so when the object is at infinity rays will be parallel incidentic rays will be parallel and it will appear coming from the focus okay it will reflect like this clear so image where is the image is formed it is at the focus behind the mirror behind the mirror and it is virtual erect because the rays are not really intersecting here we are assuming we are considering so it is the imaginary so which type of image that is the virtual virtual erect erect and at focus behind the mirror behind the mirror and you can see the image is very very small that is the that is a highly diminished okay highly highly diminished that is the very small very small image will be formed behind the mirror it is the first case now see the second case when the object is placed when the object is placed between infinity and between infinity and the pole between infinity that is the at the finite distance infinity and pole okay any place you can write so see that ray diagram this is the pole suppose the object is placed i am not showing its correct position it is somewhere in front of the mirror so first ray parallel to the principal axis it will be it will appear coming from the focus after reflection this is the focus okay and show the second ray second ray towards the center of curvature suppose this is the center of curvature so the ray which is going towards the center of curvature will will follow the same path after reflection it will return on the same path so if we see the image uh, we see the position of the image you will see that the image is formed here okay where the two rays intersecting to each other so this is the position of the image formed by the con convex mirror so where the image will be formed behind the mirror behind the mirror behind the mirror between p and f p and f and virtual virtual erect virtual erect will be formed so these are the two cases by the convex mirror when the image is formed so it is you can see it is the diverging mirror it is the diverging mirror so that's why its uses are different it is used as a street light 
uh, reflector because when the light glows uh, in front of the mirror so light diverges in the state in the large area so see the uses uses of con uh, convex convex mirror okay so there are more on main two uses first as a as a street street light reflector and the second use very important for your exam suppose this is a mirror you can see its aperture aperture is very large whereas the aperture of the concave was very less very less but here the aperture is very large so behind the traffic behind the traffic it can see a large area it can cover a large area so that's why it is used as a rear view mirror as a rear view mirror in the vehicle in the vehicle or it is also known as the side view side view mirror in the mirror in the vehicle why because it covers a large of large area wide range it covers a large area behind the car behind your vehicle so you can see the traffic behind your vehicle so that's why it is used as a rear view mirror the so reason what is the reason because it has larger it has larger field of view field of view why it is has the larger field of view due to its larger aperture larger aperture so these are the uses of the uh, convex mirror dear students we can <clears throat> we can discuss uh, the sign convention because uh, because this application will be used in numericals also and to use this application in uh, in uh, numericals we should know the sign convention sign convention means when we have to take the positive and negative for the distances measurement okay so there are few rules there are few rules i am going to discuss that is the sign sign convention for reflection for reflection by spherical spherical mirrors see what are the sign convention okay now very easy to understand okay i am taking a mirror here i am taking the uh, concave but uh, you can consider any any type of the mirror okay first rule just try to understand clearly the object is always placed the object is always placed always placed to the left to the left of the mirror of the mirror okay so object should be placed always this side always not this side that will be the wrong so this is the rule you have to keep the object this side in front of the mirror always okay and the uh, all distances all distances parallel to principal axis measured from the pole we will start the measurement from the pole this side or this side so all measurement or measurement measurement uh will start will start from pole always this is the second rule okay and this side if you are measuring this side this side then it is always positive suppose the rays going this direction no? if you are <coughs> if you are measuring in a positive direction that is the in in this direction uh, suppose the minus x axis direction it is the it is the x na no? this is the x okay 
this is the y y axis this is the x so if we are moving along along plus x axis along plus, plus axis this side na this is the plus okay this is the plus it is the minus it is the minus it is the plus so if you are moving along the x axis plus x axis then the measurement will be positive okay so remember uh, positive so along plus x axis distances distances will be positive will be positive okay suppose the image is formed here so it is in along the positive x axis direction so distance is positive here okay you know the object distance is uh, object distance it is denoted by u and the image distance denoted by v that is the distance between the object and the pole and the mirror is the u distance between the image and the pole it is the v and f is the focal length you know very well so here here the v it is a image na so it is here positive and here the object is negative because and along minus x axis x axis distance will be negative distance will be negative so here u is negative and v is positive okay and the next distance is perpendicular perpendicular above the principal axis it is positive and below the principal axis it is negative okay so if you measure the distance that is the length it is negative and this is the positive so distances along plus y that is the above plus y is positive positive and minus y axis minus y axis it is negative it is negative okay so it is this distance is negative and this distance it is negative below the principal axis negative above the principal axis it is positive so these are the some sign conventions you should remember while applying in the mirror formula and uh, we'll discuss also about the magnification also see what is the mirror formula very important for numericals mirror formula mirror formula is a relation between the v u and f and it is given by 1 upon v plus 1 upon u is equal to 1 upon f this is the relation between the u v and f but while using this formula we have to consider its sign also that is the when the v or u or f is positive or negative we have to consider it so this is the mirror formula okay now come to the magnification magnification what is the meaning of the magnification magnification means suppose the object object is of 2 cm and its image is formed suppose 4 cm this is the image so you can see its size is increased by 2 times size is increased by 2 times clear size is increased by 2 times so this is known as the magnification magnification that is the here magnification is 2 so how can you find the value 2 by dividing by dividing the height of height of image by the height of object okay that is the 4 upon 2 it is equal to 2 so this is called the magnification m so m is the height of the height of the image to the height of the object this is the relation if height is of the image is h dash and height of the object is h then the formula is m is equal to h dash upon h clear it is also related with the 
v and u also it is also denote it is also related with v and u by this formula minus v upon u okay minus v upon u that is the to the image distance to the object distance okay so remember this formula of magnification in magnification we should know also when it is positive and negative magnification may be positive or negative remember students when the object is when the uh, when the image is below the principal axis then it is it is real and inverted then magnification is always always negative okay so for real and inverted real and inverted image image m is negative okay and for virtual and erect image m is m is positive okay so dear students remember this fact very useful in numericals so magnification m is positive when the image is formed above the principal axis that is the virtual erect and when the image is formed uh, below the principal axis that is the real and inverted it is always negative so remember these two points also for the magnification will be used in the numericals thank you students and in next video we'll discuss about the refraction of light refraction which is the another property of the light thank you